Hello everybody and good afternoon. It's already quarter to three, 2.47 p.m. here Eastern Time on Saturday, April the 23rd. Beautiful day here in Thurmont, Maryland. Don't know about where you guys are at. Guarantee it's beautiful. Why? Because this is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. But thank you all so much for joining me as we continue this daily devotional together, getting into the Word of God together and growing together. And our devotional today is titled, A Risk for the Savior. Mm. And the important part, the, the healthy vitamins, the spiritual nourishment, the food we need every day when we watch these videos together, guys, is to study scriptures right out of the Word of God. And it comes out of Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 through 30. And our lead-off verses are out of Philippians chapter 2, verses 29 and 30. And the Word of God says, So then, welcome him in the Lord with great joy, and honor people like him, because he almost died for the work of Christ. He risked his life to make up for the help you yourselves could not give. Beautiful, guys. Uh, go back and read that. Read, read all Philippians chapter 2 while you got the book open will not take that much extra time and you will not regret it it's beneficial i've said it before you cannot overdose on the word of god anyway today's devotional was written by dennis fisher and he goes on to write desmond doss irritated his drill instructor and fellow soldiers in the army a pacifist by conviction he refused to carry oh i remember this okay he refused to carry a weapon into battle so his peers doubted his courage. Trained as a medic, the young Christian had no qualms about facing combat, but his goal was to save lives. Doubts about Doss changed, however, when his unit faced combat. During the World War II Battle of Okinawa, he ducked under machine gun fire to pull the wounded to safety. He prayed, Lord, give me the strength to save just one more wounded soldier. Eventually, eventually, he rescued more than 70 injured soldiers. Later, Doss was awarded the Medal of Honor. His story was told in the movie Hacksaw Ridge. Scriptures tell of another Christian who took great risks to help others. Of, I don't know these names, guys. Please forgive me. Of Epaphroditus. I don't know. If you, if you open up your book in Philippians, you'll see the name. I, I, don't, I don't want to mispronounce it. Paul wrote, honor people like him because he almost died for the work of Christ. He risked his life. Still today, believers around the world risk their lives for the cause of Christ. Let's pray for God's protection for them. Amen. This is good. Uh, yeah, I tell you, first off, I just want to start off with saying, if you have not seen the movie Hacksaw Ridge, I highly encourage you to watch that. It is a true story about this Christian who his only weapon he had in battle was his Bible. And guys, I mean, you can take that physical, you can take that spiritual. The word of God is truly all we need if that's where your faith is at. Um, me personally, I do not have any guns anymore. I do not believe I need to carry a weapon. I don't. Now, I know there's people watching this that would disagree, and that's fine. If that's what God's put on you to keep firepower and to keep guns and to protect your house with fire that's fine that's on you that's not on me god has clearly told me that i don't need any weapons uh, all i need is the word of god and uh but hacksaw ridge you know this this christian man that's beautiful what he did he sacrificed his life he he was a risk for the savior he and if you watch the movie i don't want to give it away he, he he wasn't worried about looking to see who it was first he was just grabbing people left and right saving them putting them above himself but not even worried about his own life. And then, you know, here when we look at what uh, what Paul is writing about Epaphroditus, Epaphroditus, I, I do not know how to say that. It's a tongue twister for me. But this guy, I mean, he, he, he risked his life to spread the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ in the kingdom. And today, today this is still happening, folks. Uh, there's an organization out there called the Voice of the Martyrs, people on the other side of the world and all around the world just like you and me watching these videos, that if they were caught watching this video or caught making this video, that door behind me would be getting kicked open right now. Somebody would be coming in, probably putting a bullet in the back of my head, uh, taking a sword across my neck and killing my entire family just for believing in Jesus Christ and all that. But guess what? That does not stop them. They still 
press forward and they still risk their lives for their Savior, Jesus Christ, because of what he did for them. Same thing we got to do. Guys, we are so fortunate to live in the United States, whereas right now we're free to speak the gospel to an extent. This government and this world, this nation is trying to put a halt to that, guys. This, the, the nation we live in, the land of the free, is trying to take God out of the world, out of this country. And we as Christians, we got to stand up and fight no matter what. We got to risk our lives for the Savior. We got to keep the gospel going, keep the good news going, expand the kingdom. I know God's in control. We all know that, but we still got to fight. It's a fight every day until Jesus returns to bring us home. So another beautiful one. Again, please read the scriptures. Go back and read about this. This brother, Epaphroditus, that Paul wrote about risking your lives and ask yourself, how far, how far are you willing to go to risk your life for what Jesus Christ did? He died for you. I mean, he died for you and still loves you. How far are you willing to go? So guys, thank you for joining me. I recommend watching that movie. But first and foremost, I recommend reading these scriptures, getting in the word of God first. And just meditate on it. Ask God to reveal to you what, what more you could be doing to risk your life for him. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Saturday. And until tomorrow on Sunday, amazing day of praise and worship. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you guys.